Alright, hope everybody's having a good uh, Friday. Um, I have gotten a couple packages from none other than Zane Savage, very famous uh, YouTuber uh, for autograph collecting, autograph selling, Autographers Anonymous podcast, and all, all points in between. All kinds of cool stuff that he does on his channel. So check him out. Uh, he's also a, a head of Shuffle Trades here, which I got in a few days ago, Shuffle Trades. And I won one of his contests, uh, that's why these packages are here. Uh, actually, well, I think one of them is. I'm not sure what the other one is. It's a, it's a surprise. But I have a really cool um, knife here to open that with. Um, I'll show you the shuffle trades very, very quickly here. It's pouring rain outside, so I can't do much. Shuffle trades, so check that out. Trade a card, get a card. I traded uh, some sort of uh, prospect autographed card. Uh, it was not certified, but I know it was signed by the person and I got in exchange a Jason Phillips from some other collector wide receiver of the Lions on this 1990 card I believe 1990 I got a 1 TTM in here very very quickly I used this beautiful block of four for the return envelope so I could get that put in my book as an upgrade and the post office ripped it there so it's a downgrade and who did I get from uh, the, da, 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 wherever this is, I can't read it, Air, Phoenix, Arizona. I got manager of the Batavia Trojans back in like 1981, Dave Oliver. So that's really cool, signing this uh, blue Sharpie there. So let's get into the packages and see what we got here. Might take a little while to open. This one's a lighter one, so I'll do this one first. Does not say open first or anything. This knife usually works pretty well, but for some reason that is not... No, it's, oh, there we go. I have to saw the box. There, okay. Get that one in. Live unboxing. Haven't done this in a long, long time. Kind of dark. I had to move this table into a different light here. This is my box opening knife. Uh, actually, it's a kitchen knife from Dollar Tree many, many years ago. And I believe this is a contest prize here. Bubble wrap, which I could use. And what did I win here? I got this really cool sports talk player here. Very, very cool. Hank Aaron on the front there. Really cool. Donnie Baseball right there. Oral Hershiser. Three of my favorite uh, ball players. So that's a win in itself. I'm probably not going to open this here. Oh, Don Mattingly. Oh, man. Zombie Collector, eat your heart out. This is neat. Thank you, Zane. I cannot believe I have one of these now. These were really popular when I was a kid. I'm guessing this is circa 1990. Uh, if you look at the date here. 1989 LJN. Sweet! So that is very, very cool. Um, I'll let you look these up and see what these are all about. I want to look in the other box here. Very, very cool. So check out Zane's channel if you haven't. He's been on YouTube. I think he was... Uh, this is part two of my video for Zane Savage box opening. The first camera I had broke. Second camera broke. Broke, 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 broke. Went back to the first camera. Now I'm back to another camera here. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the box too. I just started to open it when the camera crashed, so let's see what we've got. I wasn't expecting a second box here. We got a Christmas card, a Boynton. Sorry, this camera focus is a little different here. And uh, Henry, thanks for being such a great part of the community. Happy holidays to you and your family. Here's to a great 2021. Uh, in brief, Merry Christmas. Get it in brief. Um, and a t an Autographers Anonymous podcast, so check them out on the interwebs and YouTube and all that good stuff. And I just noticed that I got Zane Savage's custom. Looks like a couple of customs in here. All right, graphersaa.com. Check that out. Sweet. And this is signed in gold sharpie. And this one's signed in the black sharpie. Cool. Did not have those. Very, very neat to have those. And this is Henry's box of paper, ephemera, and other goodies. No need to hit me back with anything on this man. Happy holidays, Zane Savage. You know what? Uh, out of all my autographs I have the most of, it's Zane's. And there's a lot of good old-fashioned bubble wrap which I can use. So that is excellent. Wow. Oh my, oh my gosh. So that's why I didn't... Okay, I want to do a proper video. Premier Edition Football 1990 Photo Player Cards. I remember buying these. I never got the jumbos, but the card down or the old shop down the street, which is now a thrift store, had these, and I think they were 49 cents a pack, 50. I don't know, something like that. They were, I think, green packs. And let me know if I'm correct. They they were probably green wrappers for the smaller ones. Not sure, but I got four of those. 
There's practically half a set there. What in the blaze is going on here? I oh no oh, oh dude oh this oh, yeah. I can't I can't go through all of this. Holy shamoli. These are great for TTMs, putting in my binders. I just put almost all my first day covers in a binder. I mean, these are all 1951. If I have any duplicates, I've got a couple friends I can give these off to that collect these sort of things. So that is amazing. The addresses will come off or not. I mean, there's just probably, what, 50 of them right there? That's ridiculous. First day covers. They're not super rare or valuable. And there's another, oh my gosh. My home state, Zane Savage. Uh, yep, Illinois. Sweet. And blocks of four. I um, mean, just like I said, I'm just in absolutely awe of all this stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This was like my old days at the old coin shop. Amazing, amazing stuff. That's really awesome. I mean, I remember getting these for like 10 cents a piece at the old coin shop. That was insane. So I'm going to look at these cancels and stuff and see what I can pull out of those for my project. Um, let's see what we got here. Baseball dope book. That's cool. Know nothing about that from the published by the Sporting News. Is that Mickey Lalich on the front there? I am totally. No, no, not Mickey Lal. Oh, uh, Denny McLean. I, I, let me know who that's on the front there. Um, let me know who that's on front. Uh, okay, and then we got the Major League Baseball 1951. I'll, I'm just quickly going through this stuff here. Uh, if you, if you want to see any more of this in a future video, just let me know. Famous sluggers from 1971, Hillerich and Bradsby. Louisville slugger, not Louisville. Louisville. Baseball Digest, Joe Pepitone. What's going on? So Joe Pepitone's got something in his nose. Oh. I don't know if Zane drew that. I don't think so, but somebody's picking Joe Pepitone's nose. That's gross. Nasty. Anyway, there's some good stuff in there, and the people who shoot the shoes, the, well, baseball shoes. We got um, Crusade Against Cancer. Maybe I should give that to the Autograph Network. Oh my gosh. And then we got a box, a little small box of stuff here, and, and a stack of magazines. So we got, oh my gosh, okay, we got Stars and Their Homes, Country Music. I have a feeling there was an autograph in the back there. But I can do something with that. Who's Who in Arca Racing. That's insane. That's old. We got it. Looks like the 53rd Rose Bowl. So there's a reason why these these probably came with some stuff that he got. Or uh, 1990 Baseball's Hottest Rookies. I may have actually had that magazine when I was a kid. That's insane. Another one. I didn't have the football one for sure. But I may have had the baseball one. 1990 Football's. And a hundred exclusive collector cards. What does it say? Special edition. Da, 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 da. Value pack. Interesting. I think I had the baseball book. And it's pictures of all the stars in there. Then we got team. This is sick. Is that Dick Allen? No, wait. Who's that? Yeah, it is Dick Allen on the cover there. Neat. Cool. Neat. That is massively 70s. That's, that's one of my favorite ones there. Oh my gosh. And then we got some sheets of paper here, Magic Limited, some article here, uh, Flags of America, Colonial Days. I've seen those before, but I've never had that one. Uh, Secretary of Energy, Stephen Chu. So maybe maybe he signs. I don't know. Some more here. So side tricks. Uh, side, oh, wow. That's crazy. Here's a photograph of some dudes. Tom Moods. Tim Moods. Tim Moody. I don't know. Magician, maybe. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Some dude, another magician. Dave Manton of St. Louis is what it says on the back there. Sorry, this camera is really zoomed in for whatever reason. Dr. Dale McCoy. There's some really cool stuff I could do something. Premier Escape. Another, yeah, Dave Menton. He was a musician, a uh, magician. Okay, I'm going to finish up this box here, if it kills me, this uh, camera, and um, this box here, I'm going to do a separate video for this. That's just too massive and amazing there. So, um, we have some letter here from uh, Abby in Boston, dated 19 1891, some sort of a ticket here, just amazing stuff. 
the Cape May Wave. I mean, you can find piles of stationery on the internet um, to hit the right auction or listing. All kinds of really, really neat stuff here. Ticket stubs. I mean, there's even websites that cater to this stuff here if you know where to look. Here's uh, somebody's uh, obituary, it looks like, or some or sort of. Maybe it's not their obituary, but I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't know. Some kind of a thing, a little write-up about somebody. Uh, disappearing card. A lot of magic stuff. Here's Engage Bob. Who's your clown mission? RB Hurt. Order blank for something or other. Uh, so all kinds of ledgers, stationery. Marshall Brodian. Magician. Changing bags. Magic at its best. A lot of magic stuff. Neat. I have a couple of magic things. Uh, the Ricky Kalman Hypnosis Show. Oh, spooky. Is this Ricky Kalman? I don't know. Let me know who this is if you know who this is, Zane. A massive rip on the back from whatever used to be there. Len. Len Musician. George Van Dyke, whoever that is. Jim Moody. Sphinx. <laughs> More. And Telekinetic Timber. And Henry L. Morehouse. Now here's a obituary of some musician or somebody. Is that a musician? Yeah. Order form for something or other with master charge and stuff. And here's Len, the star of stage and TV. I've never heard of him. Interesting. And I think I showed everything else here. So I will get to that second part of the video when I can. Zane, thank you very much. This will take forever and a day to go through, but it will give me something to do after Christmas when I have time to uh, get all my other stuff cleared off here. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, sub to his channel. Check out the other other parts of Autographers Anonymous podcast. Uh, Stacy Schaefer. Uh, Mike. The Autograph Network. Troy Rudder. Chase and Inc. Uh, Scott from Reindeer Studios and all the rest of the gang and thank you for watching.